Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to create a pivot table from multiple sheets. Now in this scenario, each sheet has the same column headings. If your scenario is where the sheets have different column headings, you want to watch my next video, which will deal with that particular issue. So let's get on with this one. Basically, each sheet covers a cost center. I want to break down these codes by cost center in one pivot table. Now, there are two ways of doing this, but your first step with both methods is to put each of these data sets in an Excel table. So I'll start with the first one, click somewhere in the data, control T on your keyboard, click on OK. And then you want to give the table a name and you'll find a table name box at the top left up here. So I'll call this CC underscore 10. And then I'm going to do the same for the other data sets. Control T, CC underscore 15. Control T, CC underscore 18. Now the first method I'm going to employ uses the VStack function. So I'm going to create a new sheet and on that sheet, I'm going to copy and paste the column headings. And in A2, I'm going to use VStack, open bracket, and then I'm going to list all the tables that I want to include in my combined VStack version of the data. So CC10, comma, CC15, comma, CC18. Close the bracket, press enter. So that includes all of the data. Now this will automatically update if the individual sheets update. So if I add a further record to cost center 10, you will see that that is automatically included in this combined version of the data. So all I need to do now is to click somewhere in this combined version of the data, go to insert, pivot table, I'll put it on this sheet, click on okay. So what I can then do is put cost center in rows and code, and then calculate the total budget for each of those codes broken down by cost center. Now VStack is available in Excel 365. If you don't have it and you don't want to use this method, your second method is to use Power Query. So we've already put each of these data sets in tables and you need to do that for this second method. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click into one of the tables. You'll go to the data tab on your ribbon. You'll click on this button from table range. Now that'll open up the Power Query Editor and all you need to do is go to this Close and Load button, Close and Load 2, and select Only Create Connection. Click on OK. So I need to do exactly the same thing for the other tables. So I click into the table, click on From Table Range, Close and Load, close and load 2, Create Connection Only, and then for the last table, I do exactly the same thing. So then your final step is to go to the Get Data menu, go to Combine Queries, Append. So I'm appending three or more tables. So all I need to do is select those tables. So I selected the first one, Shift, selected the last one, click on Add, click on OK. Then you go to close and load, close and load two. This time you click on pivot table report, click on OK. So then I can create exactly the same pivot table as I did using the first method. Now with this method, if I update these tables with new records, It will update the pivot table, but obviously because it's a pivot table, I will need to refresh it. You can see it's come through there. 
Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.